All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to add one fourth and three eighths using a common denominator. And the method we're going to use to find the common denominator is by multiplying the two denominators in one fourth and three eighths. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to multiply the four and the eight together. And that's going to give me our common denominator, which is 32. And I'm also, now that we have our common denominator, I'm going to rewrite my 1 fourth and 3 eighths vertically, like so. And I'm going to set both of these fractions equal to fractions that have 32 as the denominator. So what we're finding right now is we're finding an equivalent fraction for 1 fourth, and we're finding an equivalent fraction for 3 eighths. So keep in mind that equivalent means the same, and you might be wondering, well, how can they be the same if they look different? And I'm going to draw your attention to uh, what we actually multiply both of these fractions by. And hopefully that will help you see that um, we're actually uh, finding a new fraction that has the same value as the old fraction. So in one-fourth, we're going to focus our attention on the four in the denominator. And uh, we're going to ask ourselves, what times four in the denominator gives us a 32? And luckily, I still have 4 times 8 equals 32 written in the top right-hand corner. So that tells us really quickly that 4 times 8 gives us 32. And if we multiply our denominator by 8, we need to also multiply our numerator by 8. And some of you might be wondering, well, why is that? Why do we have to multiply the bottom and the top by the same thing? Well, it turns out that uh, if we're multiplying uh, one-fourth by 8 over 8, well, remember that 8 over 8 is the same as one whole. Uh, so really, we're just multiplying one-fourth by 1. And you guys know that anything multiplied by 1 uh, will just give you that same thing back again. So that's why we can multiply this one-fourth by 8 over 8 and you get a fraction that looks different but it still has the same value. Um, so we have 1 times 8 in the numerator so that's going to give us 8 over 32 and now I'm going to drop down to my 3 eighths and I'm going to ask a similar question what times 8 gives me 32 and it is 4 and so if I multiply the denominator by 4 I also need to multiply my numerator by 4 and 3 times 4 is 12 so now I have two new equivalent fractions, 8 over 32 and 12 over 32. Uh, and now I'm going to be able to add the two numerators, 12 and 8, and that's going to give me 20. And I'm going to put my numerator of 20 over 32. And so the sum of 1 fourth plus 3 eighths is 20 over 32. Now keep in mind that 20 over 32 is not in simplest form. Uh, but it is correct. It is the sum of 1 fourth plus 3 eighths.